Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Nonzo here with us from Los Angeles today. He's in Houston for the week for us to treat him. He's had a lot of problems with his ribs and breathing and a scoliosis in his spine. He brought a whole big thick packet of CT scans of his entire thoracic spine and rib cage as well as x-rays that I've already reviewed. We've already done his orthopedic neurological exam. So I'm going to show you how we're going to treat that. Let's have you put feet straight ahead for me there, Nonzo. And I'm going to have you close your eyes and bend your head forward and then backwards, please, sir. Your head forward and then backwards. And then neutral. Okay. Keep your eyes closed for just a second. So he's got a little bit of forward head posture. He's also translated to the right of center. Now, down in his pelvis, he's got more room here on the right than he does over here on the left. So his thoracic spine and pelvis have shifted to the left. His cervical spine and upper thoracic to the right. So he's got a curvature of scoliosis in between now. Okay, you can open your eyes and look in the mirror. See how your head's a little forward? You lifted your chin up. That's called forward head posture. And then you're rotated this way. You sleep on your side like this a lot? Rotated? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So... The very first adjustment we're going to do on Nonzo today is the spinal decompression because I have already lifted his CT scan, his ribs, on the x-rays and he needs this because he's got a curvature or scoliosis in his spine. So Nonzo, I'm going to have you lay right here on your back. So this is the very first time you've ever had this done, right? So all you ring dinger fans out there know that this First time on people is very dramatic. Slide up just a little bit that way for me, Nunzo. No, about another foot. Straight up. There you go. One more inch. There you go. Now move your arms just a little bit. I'm going to get these pins in here. He's thin, so he'll probably take the last pins. Now you might want to slide up just a little bit that way where these pins are right on top of your pelvic bones. Does it feel like it's on top of them? Because otherwise you'll slide. Push away. Take both hands and push. Are you in there tight? It's on top of your pelvic bones? No, this one is not. Okay, where's I this one? I think this one is walk, walk, walk. No, that one's on top of your pelvis. This one's here. Okay, keep your pelvis flat. Now, push away and make sure you're in. That's on top of your pelvic bones. Should be right on top of your big hip bones. That's not going to come out there, I promise you. No, no, I'm saying, I want to make sure this one is, because I it feel is. more in here. No, okay, I feel it. I feel it. Okay. You're in there. Okay. Okay, so he's got good reflexes. The right one's a little bit lower than the left one on the before reflex. So we're going to place this wet towel right around his occiput and his mandible. Keep your teeth together for me on this nonzo. Take a deep breath through your nose. Let all your out. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Ring dinger. Home run. Oh, uh, Felt that all the way down, didn't uh, you? Yeah. Take some deep breaths. Watch this. Now that was better on both of them. Did you feel the difference on your reflexes? Mm. Yeah. He's just recovering from that first <laughs> ring dinger. That's an awesome adjustment. Very dramatic. First time you ever get it done. But it helps scoliosis, it helps herniated disc, both disc, pinched nerves, lumbosacral radiculopathies, paresthesias or numbness and tingling in the legs and the feet, which he's also had some of. Okay, now, so let's come over here on your tummy next. I'm going to help you up sideways. There we go. Felt that all the way down, huh? Okay, let's lay on this table on your tummy again. Now, I've already done his exam, so... I've had him on this table already, doing his orthopedic neurological exam. Now remember how your right leg was short before? Uh -huh. Now it's exactly even. That still tightens up a little bit right there though, doesn't it? In your lower back. Uh -huh. Not as bad, I bet though. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Put both your hands down there. So I'm going to adjust his sacroiliac joints next. Get his right one first. There. And then the sacrum right in the center of the pelvis. Straight superior and inferior. 
And then the left SO joint, which he's sitting on a wall over here, which we're going to get him off of, because that will actually cause the pelvis to go out worse and more frequently. Men in their wallets and women in their purses. Bad combination. There's L5. There's L4. L3. L2. Now remember he has a scoliosis with his pelvis shifted out further to the left. So just let all your out and relax on these nons over. There you go. That's it. Okay. That's all she's doing there. Yeah, this I do it two more times on the right right there. Recheck his leg length, still even. Does this feel any smoother this time, Nonzo, than the last one? I can feel on this one. Okay. There's L5 again. L4. Okay, take some deep breaths. I'm going to use the turbonator on you. release tool and instrument it gets is my human meat tenderizer you did really good on that one for your first time too Nonzo. Oh, yeah. you didn't flinch you didn't flinch near as bad as no. most men do we got pro football players jumping off the table on that one cool. yep okay my friend let's turn you on your back now and I'm gonna have your head right here and your upper back right here That's good, perfect, right there. Slide down this way just a little bit. Right there, perfect, good. Now just lay your head back. You're going to feel your head teeth popping up. Now I'm going to pull your head up and back. That will help restore the curve back in your cervical spine. This is a biophysics maneuver. Slide down this way for me now. And let's put your arms out like this to the sides. I'll be adjusting his rib cage now, along with his clavicle and his AC joints in his shoulders. AC joints first. Clavicular chondral joint next, your chondro clavicular joint, and then now the costosternal joints in the anterior aspect of his sternum, where the ribs attach. And see, he's had imbalance in here for a long, long time and has suffered with shallow breathing as a result of that. And just relax your hands right there. Because of your shallow breathing, you might have a little slipping up of your stomach, too. Put your other hand up here and relax. Like the other one. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. You feel your tummy growling a little bit right there? Just keep exhaling. This will open up your breathing a little bit better, too. We do this on acid reflux, hiatal hernia patients, but also on patients that have abnormal rib cage alignment. There we go. Okay. Now, I want you to just relax your legs right in my hand here. There we go. Good deal. Yes, sir. You should have felt that in your knee and your back, did you, Nonzo? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just sit you up face toward Joseph now. That way. Nonzo's like a lot of you guys that watch this on YouTube. 
and uh, he was in Houston visiting a friend of his and decided to stay on this week for treatment, which is a great idea because he's seen a bunch of other different chiropractors and doctors out in California with apparently not much help, right, Nando? Yes. Okay. There's your left shoulder. Has anybody ever adjusted all this stuff on you before? No. So I do adjust more than one vertebra in the spine or just the neck. Some of you have been making comments about that. We do adjust the entire spine and body because it all works together and functions together. Okay, Nonzo, let's have you stand up and face the mirror again. All right, so we're going to have you do the same thing where you bend your head forward and backwards with your eyes closed. His range of motion is already improved, and you know, I'm backwards. And now I'm normal. Yep. Okay, take a look. So you're still a little forward and a little bit right, but not as bad. So here's your homework. You're going to lift up with your traps, pull back with your rhomboids. See, that'll open up your chest. Clear these hands like that. Bring that head straight back this way. You're translated to the right. So see, we're going to do exactly the opposite of that. Now shift your pelvis straight right. As far as you can. Yep. Hold that right there and look up at the ceiling. Look up. Okay. All right. Hang on. Somebody unplug me here. Okay. Let's try that same thing again. Yep. Pull your shoulders back though. Now shift your pose way right. Yep. Look up at the ceiling. Good. again Nonzo and see if this feels any smoother to you. Forward all the way and then backward all the way. So good full range of motion. Now back to neutral. Take a look in the mirror now. See how we got more equal spacing now on both sides? Mm -hmm. They're still not all the way to the right of center but it's better than it was. Your head's a little more closer to the line here. So you want to bring this up back left here and then shift this to the right. That'll be your homework. Okay so this back here. Head, shoulders up back, head back, translate to the left, and shift your pelvis straight out to the right. Like this. Just like that. Yep, yeah, but you want to have your head translate like that. Okay. Don't want to tilt it. Okay. So this is called mirror image exercising. This is his. Straight up with the traps, back with the rhomboids, head straight back in the z-axis, translate to the left, and then shift your pelvis out to the right. And just hold that for like three seconds and relax. Do it again 14 more times, like 15 in the morning, 15 around lunch, and 15 in the afternoon. So would you mind sharing with our YouTube subscribers how that adjustment felt compared to what you had before? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I feel way much better now. Um, I never had any of this adjustment before, and the reason why I'm here is because, um, you know, I saw a similar video online, and he was a, you know, I felt like he was talking to me. He was saying all the symptoms that I'm having, which none of other doctors told me about. And that's why I came here. And so far, I felt much better than I was when I walked in here. Well, so, praise the Lord. Good yeah. deal. We're happy you're here. Yeah, thank you. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. And we'll see you next time.